What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks for joining me on the Hangout on Sunday. That was awesome. We're going to try to do that every week at 8 o'clock p.m. So join me then, right? All right, guys. Got a quick one for you today. This was sent in by H.H. H. Huxley, and I mentioned this on the Hangout yesterday. Uh, I want to show you what we've got here because this is pretty cool. Uh, this is the actual area. I know you guys will remember this. This is from the petroglyph uh, that I put on here depicting flight on Mars, right? Uh, and here's the area right here. Well, H.H. H. 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 Huxley, try to say that five times fast, um, was looking at this area right here. And, and now kudos to everyone who's doing this type of thing. They're really scrutinizing the heck out of these. Well, they looked at this area right here, right? And notice this area right here, right? It's kind of wild the way they, they pointed this stuff out because I can see what looks like intelligently made objects myself without doing a thing to this photo, right? Um, like this right here. They've noticed this right here, like this rounded piece, okay? But I see it as a cutout right here, and it has like the end of this rectangular stone or part of this stone. It goes off in this, this here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is pretty cool. I'm going to jump into here. Here's the photo that they submitted, and I think it's pretty darn wild, right? And they pointed out a few things here. Uh, this round piece looks like it could be rolled down to protect the doorway. Now, the reason why they say that is because it says dwelling entrance, right? right in here now if you look at the giga pan itself back out you got this area here let me go ahead and make this full screen for you guys right here it looks like it might be an opening right here and it comes down me personally i think this is uh water actually came down here to be truthful with you guys what do you guys think i love this almost like this you know casing it looks like more than a rock see that it's like a thin layer, and it almost looks like a like a pot of a large egg, right? That's what it looks like to me. It looks like it's not very thick, if maybe an inch, if, if not uh, less. And it, you can see it right there. See that? Right there. And it just looks like it's an outer piece of something, right? Um, but you can see these pieces here. There's like another stone right here. It looks like it's kind of concave. See, it's line, line, maybe concaved right there. And you can see how it's like a stone, like it's been rolled at the top. You can see where it does this here, has this line. Now, again, we'll jump back. Well, one other thing I want to mention, too, before I jump back into Photoshop. They point out this right here, this this piece right here. It's got this circle and this top piece, and it says, and, he, and they label it as tech. Um, and they may very well be right. What I find interesting is that why is this block here in front of it transparent? See what I'm talking about? Look at the way this thing goes like this. goes across, goes down right here. But this piece goes right through the rock. See that? And it has this circle. Then it has this line right here. This little detail goes down past into this rock and back up. See that? There's like a, like a, almost like a ring or space around this circular piece. How is that going through another rock? Or are they just going over these things and kind of like putting like a ghosting image over the actual uh, anomalies? What do you guys think? But let's jump back into that because I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. Right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and brighten this up, and this is what we got right here. Now, again, you can see these, this, what looks like a half-round rock right here. Literally going down like that, going like this, and it's actually pretty thick. You can see it going right across, coming down. It, has a, it actually has a detail right here, and I'll show you that a little bit better in a second. Right, right here. See that way that's cut out? And what looks like another little space there. I'm not sure what to make of that. Oh, it's a three quarters of a Pac-Man. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, but check this out. Like, again, they, they label this as tech, and they may very well be right. Look at that right there. But I love the way this thing does this. This is cool. Right here, where it looks like it goes down like this. But it looks like, again, it goes through this transparent rock. But anyway, you got this these details right here. And it looks like this space, so there's design from up all the way down, around. And it has like this space around this circle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get this out of the way. See that? And then they say that this may be the actual, uh, uh, like a pot of a wing type thing uh, to maybe that plane. But the plane was a drawing. But is it possible maybe they had it in stone as well? Meaning not just drawn, but actually made. Uh, it's hard to tell, right? Um, something square. And like I said, you guys, when I when I showed you like this, it does this. It looks like it comes up like at an angle. Does this here. It looks like it's concaved. Comes down like this here. 
go straight and it looks like this top pot or this other side to it actually rolls over like it does this here see that and does that now it isn't behind of the rock so it's hard to see the whole thing right um they point out right here it's a carved face and you can see it right here it's, if you look at it, it's very faint but it looks like a, almost like a lion's face to me where you got the eye now i usually don't see stuff like that we can see the nose is like this here and you can see like a straight mouth going across i don't know if you guys can see that but check that out right there now maybe just a paradol you're playing games of course uh which i'm not a big fan of that word but you know uh you you are seeing literally seeing faces right um let me show you guys something else what i find interesting is this piece right here it's a flat piece right here see this what i find interesting it looks like it has a pipe coming out of it and overhanging this other rock but look at the design of this thing. It's going into this other flat piece. Yeah, we got flat rocks like that all over the place here. And look at the design of it. What I find interesting is this piece right here. It's got what this looks like this thick 90 degree angle piece. You see that? And then you got this what looks like a black slot. And you have this piece coming off. It almost looks like this weird wire harness. See, it goes over to this one. Over to this one here. Now, of course, you know, it, it, they made it look like stone, so therefore you can't make heads or tails out of it. Now, H.H. Huxley actually put in here a control panel because there is a lot of little details in there, although it's hard to make it out, but you can see these weird little details around pieces, other little pieces like that. What I find interesting about this piece here, okay, this right here, is that when you've seen this slotted piece, when I said it looked like a harness type thing, let me show you guys something that's pretty interesting. This is pretty cool. Look at the piece that it's going into here. Look at the plate under it. See this right here? Perfect, nice shop corners. Again, I live in a mountain estate, guys, with rocks, mountains, the whole nine yards. I don't see rocks that look that, that crisp. I just don't. Um, I don't know where other people hang out, but I don't see stuff like that. And I sure in heck don't see stuff like this object around this, this stone, unless, of course, it's man-made. Now, if they had seen this, like in Pumapunku, uh, the Mayans, or anything like that, they wouldn't call it natural. They'd say, oh my god, there's an ancient civilization right here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to brighten it back up so you guys can have a better look. And like I said, this thing here to me has way too much detail in it. That's all there is to it. That's just the way I feel. Way too much detail. And again, looks like it's slotted right here. And we have what looks like this object coming off. Going into uh, this piece right here. <laughs> I think this is pretty cool. I mean, you guys tell me what you guys think is going on here. They point out this blob looks like it's been uh, blotted out. And it actually does, right there. Now, this may be due just simply because of shadowing. It's hard to tell, right? But um, it actually looks like it's been blurred out purposely. Like they had tried to take something out that was uh, sitting there. But between these objects here that they point out, this tech piece... All these, come on, guys. Come on. It looks like something was blown to pieces. And if you go back to right here, to the Gigapan, just have a look at the base, man. Look at this. Crazy. It looks like a bunch of, it looks like a big stone blew into a lot smaller pieces. See that? It looks like it's been, it was smooth at one time and just busted to pieces. Like this was flat and busted off from something much larger. What do you guys think? That's the way I see it. That's the way it looks like to me. Uh, could I be wrong? Sure. Uh, but I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing a lot of things that look like smaller things that were much larger. In other words, they made something much larger, right? But uh, you guys give me your thoughts on that. What do you think? What do you see? What are you guys seeing right here in this picture, this area? Back up a little bit. This is what I'm seeing here. And that piece right there, like I said... And you've got these other pieces here, what looks like this tech piece or whatever it may be, right? Anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think. What are you seeing here? Is it nothing more than, you know, is it just simply rocks, you guys? Do you think it's something more than that? Drop your comments down below. I love to hear your thoughts. In addition to that, like the video, uh, share it. 
always appreciate it because get the truth out, get this stuff out to people. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget, every Sunday night at 8 p.m., we will be going live on The Hangout. So anyway, guys, have yourself a good one, and I'll see you on the flip side.